Hello everybody and today I'm going to do my 27 and 28 week update. Um, I'm actually going to move this a tiny bit because it's a bit wonky. There we go. There we are. Um, yeah, I was meant to do one um, a week ago but a lot of things were happening then. I think it was my mum's birthday. I'm sure something else happened as well, I can't remember what. Anyway, so things that have been new for that past week was I went for a diabetes test. I can't remember if I said that in the other vlog. I don't think I did. So I went into the hospital. The reason I had to have it, I think I explained on the other one. Um, I wasn't showing any symptoms or anything. It was just that um, I think the consultant who I saw just said, we'll, we'll put you in for one just because there's no research done on South American people. This is what I think anyway. Um, because I'm from a different ethnicity and I'm adopted, you don't know my family history. So that's why I think they just kind of did it just to check anyway. That was fine. It was horrible though because I had to have no food from, I had to be there at like half eight. And then um, they checked my blood. And a student actually checked my blood which I should be okay with, but it was horrible because they never get my vein and it's only this arm they can take blood from. So uh, that was a bit annoying. Um, they did eventually get the blood, then I had to have a horrible glucose drink, but I didn't actually smell it because I think when you smell the drink, you can kind of taste it more. So I just, I have this thing where even at work, like I can just not smell. I just breathe through my mouth and don't smell. So I just downed it <laughs> and then left. For two hours we were in the hospital. I thought we stayed in this like day like day room thing but with a bed, but you didn't. You had to just go and well we bought our phone charger, so we waited in the waiting area. And actually at that point Aaron he was suffering from um he'd had like a slip disc, but we didn't know that at the time. So he couldn't really do a lot. So we were trying to get him sorted. That's probably why I didn't upload because we were both like in agony with our backs, so we were trying to sort that out as well. So he went to A&E to try and see a doctor there, but it was just too long. Anyway, the um, test results came back and it was fine. There was nothing wrong. I think my urine sample had a trace of protein and um, something else in it, which meant that I might have had an infection, but they said because it was only like a small amount that detected that it could have been like contamination. They say contamination because they say if it's like your first way of the day, it can obviously be more concentrated. And obviously it was, and I hadn't eaten or drunk any, anything very much. But they say it could just be normal. And I don't have any pain or anything, so they said just not to worry. And if you do show any symptoms, just get it checked again. Sorry. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Um. Not sure where to start now. My weight, my weight is now 11 stone, four pounds. I realized in the video I've just uploaded, I've said 11 pound four. Yeah, 11 pound four I've said, but I meant 11 stone four. Um, I don't know if that's changed much. Maybe I was 11 stone three on the last one, I can't remember. Um, so I'm still gaining, I think probably like a pound a week. I mean, it might even have gone up because I haven't really weighed myself. I will be 28 weeks, by the way, tomorrow which is the something of March. I don't know what, to, oh, I can check in a minute. Um, I'm still, I haven't got any stretch marks still, although I keep on looking to see if I can see like really faint lines. Yeah, on Thursday the 3rd of March, I'll be 28 weeks. Um, so no, no stretch marks yet. Kicks, the baby's been kicking a lot, but not really as much as like, there was one week where it was, I could kind of feel her before every meal. Now it's not really before a meal, it's kind of like during the meal. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's the routine's changed or I don't really know. She's still kicking though, a lot. Um, what size is the baby? I'll have a look at that now. But apparently you meant to start counting the kicks more when it's 28 weeks or from tomorrow. Well, I guess you can kind of do it in these couple of weeks anyway. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to start doing that. There should be, I think there might be something on possibly my app that will do that. Sleep, have I been sleeping? Okay, you're waking up with quite a dry mouth. The pelvic girdle pain still really bad and it hurts, 
quite a lot, especially if I've been sitting up like this for quite a long time or standing up. I mean, it's quite bad. <laughs> um, but apart from that, it's been okay. I've been getting a tiny bit of restless legs and a bit more cramping. Um, but that's about it. Uh, cravings, still craving like fruit. Um, I really like plums at the minute, they're really, really nice. Um, so yeah, any maternity clothes, I haven't actually got any more maternity clothes, but I do really need a bra and I need a new swimming costume because I go to Aquanatal and actually went today and um, I couldn't wear my swimming costume. My swimming costume's like a size 10 and it's got like an open back and the open back is like coming right the way around and it's just too tight on the back it's so uncomfortable so um i'm just gonna i wore my bikini and just squeeze myself the, the pants were actually okay because they fit underneath and the hips still fit and they're a size 10 but the top was a bit snug <laughs> i was like but it was okay it was better than the other things so that was all right and also the aquanatal helped so much with the pelvic girdle pain however today was it was hurting a bit more than usual. It doesn't usually hurt, but it, it, I don't know. But it gives me so much more energy during the day. Um, yeah, so I'll get on to the things that I've been up to this week as well. Um, I think the baby is probably about the size. I think it's like two pounds or maybe two and a half have a look. I really like the smell of these lilies. All I can smell is lilies right now because they're here. Oh yeah, Bluebell, Bluebell is what the app like. I gave her a nickname of Bluebell. He's almost 16 inches tall, the size of a coconut and weighs about two and a half pounds. Getting closer and closer to the size she'll be at birth. So this is week 28 it's saying. Um, yeah. So basically from 28 weeks, I'm going to have a midwife appointment on Monday and in all the um, the books that they give you, the books, the, what are they called, notes, the maternity notes, these things that we all get given, they've basically got a chart in here and it's, <laughs> so, it's probably not complicated at all if you're used to doing charts and graphs all the time but to work how I thought it was. So basically everyone's bit here is going to be completely different because it uses, it goes off your weight and height at the start and calculates your BMI, then you get this line here. So this is your, everyone's line will be different. Um, so basically at the bottom you've got the weeks. So you go up, say how many weeks you are. And then it has your um, fundal height measurement which is basically the measurement from the top of the uterus to the bottom, which is like where the pelvic bone is. So <laughs> I measured it so wrong at first because I thought the top was literally where your bra like um, was right there. And so I just measured the full thing that, and that would be like nine months because I didn't realize it's, you meant to start from where it's hard, which is probably about down here right now. Um, so I'd say I was probably about right, but I'll have to let her do it because I'm, I'm only like just guessing really. So at the start I thought she was gonna be like five pounds. She was all the way like up here, off the chart. But basically you've got the 90th centile, 50th centile and the 10th centile. So basically if you're anywhere in between these ranges, that's good. And if you're anywhere below or above, then they recommend you go for um, a growth um, scan. So um, looking forward to doing that. Um, another thing I've been noticing is I've been feeling a bit more sick. I think it was la last week or the end of last week. I don't know, it was like I couldn't really eat anything without feeling sick. But then I thought it might be heartburn and I've been having a lot of headaches. That seems to have gone to wood for now. Um, however, in the afternoon, uh, straight after lunch, I'm usually okay in the morning-ish sometimes, <laughs> straight after lunch. I can't, I feel like I need to eat enough to make myself feel normal, but I, I don't really. 
and then I decided the other day just to have a nap and just give in to me feeling really tired and when I woke up I felt hideous it was horrible I just felt headachy and sick like I wanted to be sick um, so I don't really know I should probably do like more swimming exercises because it, it does help with that um, Oh yeah, also I've had to take my engagement ring off because I had two blisters like right on the side here and I think that was because of the, the ring, the metal that I'm allergic to. This is a platinum ring so I'm not, this one's fine but the other one I think is it white gold or I can't remember now. Um, but I started to really itch so I had to take that off. My legs are swelling as well, they don't actually look like they are like huge but I can tell because when I kneel down well when I kind of get down to go on the floor and all falls on my pelvis hurts I can feel it like tightening like it's about to pop so um yeah it's kind of uncomfortable um headaches yes I mentioned that pelvic girdle pain um I'm not sure if I mentioned this but yesterday when I was at work I was was it yesterday yeah I was in agony because it just hurt, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't sit upright, I couldn't stand up, I tried to do my exercises and I ended up just being on all fours and just because it relieved some of the pressure on my pelvis because it hurt that much. There's nothing much they can do. I went to see my physiotherapist who's with the doctors, who I was referred to when I was 12 weeks pregnant and she gave me the maternity support belt which I've been using. She gave me the exercises which I've been doing and going to the aquanatal. Now it's just getting too much. I think is the pressure of the baby is getting heavier now. Um, so she's referred me. She said there's nothing really I can do more here because it's just basically basic physiotherapy there. It's not, it's not really specialist. So she said um, I'm going to refer you to the Lancaster Royal Infirmary, the hospital one, and they have a specialist with maternity, specialist maternity physios. Um, so I've just got to wait for that, which is kind of annoying, obviously I can't take any pain relief, so it's um, annoying really, and I found the midwives up and they're really good, they said use ice, use heat, but when I'm at work I can't really do any of those things, so it's just, I don't really know what to do. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it really. And also my sister came up and she gave me um, lots of clothes and lots of baby clothes that were mine and were hers and were my sister's, so they're really cute. And we bought a pram, that was another thing. We bought um, a Bugaboo Bee pram and that arrives April the 26th. It comes into the store but then we pick it up. Um, we can pick it up whenever, it, We just it's just on hold. Um, and then I've been looking at car seats today and my sister said don't go too expensive on a car seat because they aren't in it for long and really she said they're all probably just as good as each other obviously you want this a safe one um, for your baby but she said they're really not going to be in it like for so long so they spend more on one when they are a bit older when they really need it when you're going to be on longer car journeys because obviously it's not fair if you've got a baby and you're going to take it on four or five hours. You couldn't do that, really. <clears throat> so I understand what she means. Um, so I think I'm going to get a middle road, middle range one. But I don't know. Because I keep on seeing all these maxi cosy ones. So I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah. And I'm in my dressing gown. I have got clothes on underneath. But I just thought it's nice to be comfy. And also I'm still taking my inhalers. Um, this is actually the one that I take two times in the morning, two times at night. And this is Cuvar Beclometasone Diprop Pionate, I think that's how you say it. So I take this twice and then I take my Sabutamol um, whenever I need it really. I always have it on me. And I think that's it. I've also got back into drinking these Pepsi Max. I was on the Gold Coke, but then I've suddenly just started liking caffeine again. But I don't, I opened this about two, three hours ago and it's still here. Right, I think that's it. So I'll show you the bump shot, although I'm gonna have to mind loads of things that way. 
Oh, it's so painful getting up. <sighs> but I did tell actually the midwife at the Aquanatal today about there being pain and stuff and she recommended, oh yeah, I'm gonna start antenatal class I think next week. Um, so I have to let you know how they go. But the midwife said there's a specialist antenatal class that you can go to with those physiotherapists that I'll probably be seeing. And she said it's really good, so I can't wait to do that, but that's in April, it's 6th of April, I think, so I have to wait. Oh! Right. The camera's down a bit, but... These are my old tracksuit bottoms. Right, so this is the bump from the side. I'm trying to think if it looks bigger or not. Then, yeah, it probably does. And this is it from the front. And you can kind of see the line is starting to appear a bit more darker. And I can see like a faint one here. And that's it from the other side. And I keep on checking like under here if there's any stretch marks or anything. But I don't think there is. And it's also getting itchy. Right, um, thank you for watching this video on the 27 and 28 week update and hopefully next week I'll make a complete, I'll make the 29 week update. Um, oh yeah, um, I haven't got any more SD cards, that's the reason why I've had to delete some videos on here. I need to go out and get a new one, that's why the videos have been kind of late. Um, so yeah. Um, I have to bear with me for the 29 week update until I get an SD card. Okay, yeah, that's it. Right, I'll see you next week. Bye.